Alright, welcome guys. To this video, I'll be showing you how to use the pencil tool in Inkscape 1.3. Uh, this is the latest version of Inkscape at the time of this video. So, if you don't have the latest version, you could just go on the website and download it. So, in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the pencil. And to activate the pencil tool here, you can either press P or you can just click on it here. So, basically, the pencil thing has something they call mode up here. So basically it depends on the, what you want to draw. For example, this is just like creating a regular Bezier path. If you had watched that video, you'd have known how to use the Bezier tool. Now, if I'm to draw something, let me just zoom in here. Now you see that I can draw normally with this. No problems with that. It's just there. It's perfect. And then if I wanted to create more accurate circles i would use the next mode which is called um i'll just call it the spiral mode so if i were to draw something else i would have this and as you can see it's not that accurate that's because i've not set the smooth the smoothing so basically you can increase that i'm going to increase that up to 70 but not more than 70 because when you increase that more than 70 it, tend, it tends to disturb a lot so that's 70 and as you can see it automatically aligns the makes it look you know a lot more circular and then this other mode here the b spline path so basically it's just like um <clears throat> what i showed you about the bezier tool um just take a look at it you can see as i'm drawing lines it's not basically like drawing the way a normal pencil would, it's like doing straight lines and it's bending at corners. So you see, if I were to draw a square with this thing, not, well, not an accurate square, but just an example square, you'd see something like a circle in there. Um, okay, no circle. Fine. I guess that didn't work. Alright, but as you can see, yeah, you get what it does. But the one that I prefer you use when designing is the B spline, the spiral, sorry. The spiral, the spiral tool using the pencil because it's better and uh, it's cool and then creating using pressure input so basically this is how to like uh, change the stroke using Inkscape so for example as you can see the caps here has been set to but but it's like uh, let me show you you see this sharp end here this is what we call the but end so if I were to change this to a square, I think it's to give me the same thing as the butt end. You can see that? The same thing. If I were to change that to round now, it would have something else. See? Round. And if you like drawing with Inkscape, you can just basically put it on zero width. So if we put that on zero width, we're going to have it as this. It's going to be like a stroke kind of thing. And then you can reduce the pressure by using these controls here. It's been set to 14. I'm going to set it to 10. So if I draw that now, you're going to see that the line is thinner than before. Yeah, so that's basically it with the pencil tool. You can use it. You can practice how to use the pencil tool with other, P with other PNG images. For example, you can take an illustrated image and then try to draw it using Inkscape using the pencil tool only and that's it for this video guys thanks for watching